Grand Rising Wonderful Souls and welcome to Bronwyn's Clove Tarot. This is a timeless collective reading on what is coming forward. If you are a new face, welcome in. It's really good to have you here. Um, if you are a returning subscriber, soul family, it's good to have you back. Thank you for your likes, your shares, your comments and your subscribes. I do truly appreciate them all. Now, do you know what I didn't do? Because I didn't light my candles and I didn't know why. Where's the I'll do it in a minute. Um, please know that my readings are for entertainment purposes only. So please use your discernment as you are listening to this reading. If it's not confirmation for you in any way, um, then it's not for you and that's okay. I'm going to be ringing this bell. This is just to cleanse the space around us. If you have any type of sound sensitivity, please turn down your listen device in three, two, one. Perfect. Well, I found the lighter, so I'm going to light these. And usually I have it done already. Because I like to read the flames as I'm doing the reading. I hope everyone's doing really flipping well today. I hope you're doing awesome. I know that you can't see the candles and I apologize. Um, I've got some stuck in my head, but I don't know it. I don't know if it says, I don't love myself. If you, if I'm, if you understand what this song is and I'm not butchering it, please let me know what you what it is okay because i've had it in my head more or less for the last two weeks on and off on and off and i, I wake up just to that bit that tune if you can decipher that i would love it if you told me what it is now let's have a look and see what's going on let's see the moon is upside down, so this is somebody's something to do with someone's emotions. Important psychic events, excuse me, important psychic insights, events behind the scenes, release fears holding you back, and it's upside down. I don't know if this is, um, I heard this is like um, loads of different things happening together that have either overwhelmed someone or got someone to the point of just breaking down in tears because the moon is to do with our emotions it resides over the fourth house it looks at family as well so i don't know if this is um someone being very stressed by their family or stressed by um someone specifically in their family who is treating them i heard like dirt it doesn't have to be but archangel haniel there archangel haniel is a very kind energy it's a very loving nurturing and protective energy especially when it comes to um nature mother gaia i have the trees and the rivers and if you look at this card also she's actually in the river and it's there's animals next to her make sure that you can see her properly this being in reverse i don't know if this is um feeling dismissed someone here may be feeling dismissed by a family member why why they feeling dismissed by family members? Yeah, and that number at the top is an 18 condensing down to a 9. Which, when I think of 9, the first thing that comes to me is the 9 of Cups. Or even the 9 of Wands, which is about boundaries. You know, contentment and boundaries and things like this. Even 9 of Pentacles is, is independence. Um, it being in reverse, this is a lack of satisfaction or feeling inadequate is what I'm getting here. The 9 of Wands in reverse is also about um, someone not respecting boundaries. Who's not respecting boundaries? Who's not respecting boundaries? You've got the Chariot, Archangel Metatron, an important achievement, self-discipline and willpower, public recognition. Okay, so there's someone here who is feeling quite upset that they didn't um, respect your boundaries or someone in the collective's boundaries here. And it's they're going to see you have some sort of massive, important achievement happen. And there's going to be public recognition because of this. And this is when they want to come rushing in. Now, the seven on here, um, for me, it's about lies and deceit. Okay, it can be about competition. I don't know if there's a family member here or somebody who's very much in their feels who is comparing themselves to you. Or comparing how they grew up to how you grew up. Um, your achievements. They may have actually dismissed a lot of your achievements. They may have downplayed them. This is somebody who's apathetic towards, I heard other people winning. So this person is definitely in secret competition. Now this could be a mother, it could be a brother, it could be your uncle. I'm getting it someone that you've spent time with, a lot of time with. I heard up to a certain point. 
this is going to be a, a short reading just because um i need to make some space on my camera um you've got the lovers coming out should i take this no i can i can told not to take that okay tell me give me clarity seven of airs come out plans that need revision more going on that meets the eye poor timing i told you when i that seven came out and i thought of the seven of swords because it's about lights deceit right someone here i don't know what this is about them being upset that you've healed from something or that you've moved away maybe you're not speaking to this person or maybe you're you're kind of great is it gray walling or gray stoning them where um you only give them a small amount of your energy because i don't know if this person has narcissistic traits they could have it mpd i am not a therapist i cannot diagnose anyone please know that anything that comes up in the areas of law uh, finance mental health or physical health if it really resonates for you or it resonates with the person that you're thinking of please ensure that you are reaching out to them and getting gaining advice and guidance from them first before taking any from me um there's something here with um them they're upset that you've moved on they're upset that you've moved away from them or that you've just cut them off maybe recently for someone doesn't have to be but I'm getting like a fresh wound for someone. It may be the fresh wound is seeing you um, getting this public recognition. And I feel like whoever this is never cheered you on. Or if you went to them and was like, hey, look what I've created or look what I've done. They'd be like, okay, oh, that's great. And that's it. That's all you'd get from them. I heard there's something about them wanting attention. And the seven of air, this is very much about things being hidden. What's being hidden here? So far, we've all had dark blue cards coming out. Can I get one more, please? One more. Do you want to take that one? I've got a, mm, so I'm not going to take it. I need a definite. Oh, can I get one more, please, on the table? Thank you. Three of earth was in reverse. The power of creativity, recognition for very high quality work, being a team player, and it's upside down. So this is somebody who um, is, I keep hearing pales in comparison. So I don't know if this is somebody who's been copying your creativity. I did a reading quite recently talking about, for example, a family member that I had that I no longer speak to. Um, when I was a teen, if I dyed my hair a certain colour, I'd be questioned on why did you do your, your hair that colour? I was going to do that. You can still do it. If you get that tattoo, why did you get that tattoo? I wanted to get that. It's that type of energy. and I. But this is more subtle. This is somebody who may have at some point been very reserved with their emotions or masked themselves. They were like high masking. We've got release here. So the three of earth being in reverse. This is someone who um, may have wanted to work with you or steal your work. Why am I getting that? Uh, 13, release Archangel Azrael. The end of a phase or situation. Spiritual transformation. Time to move on. Okay. So you have the three of um, Earth or the three of coins in reverse. Three of, the three of coins is about collaboration. It's about working with others. Um, and sometimes you see it in the right away deck of one person doing the building or doing the manual and then two other people like talking over like the the manuscripts or the blueprints and they're all working together you know one's putting in the physical the other ones are putting in the mentor someone might be putting in the money um this being in reverse with release i don't know if this person wanted you to lose a job or they were trying to take something from you and it didn't work out how they thought it would this person's ups this is why you have the moon in reverse. This person's very upset of this public recognition because people are realising this work is yours or these ideas are yours or it could be the songs are yours, whatever it is that and how it resonates for you because the end of a phase or situation means whatever they were trying to do, they can't do. They, they, they literally can't do it. Um, spiritual transformation and time to move on. Um, I had getting under your skin. Somebody here was trying to get under your skin or... This person may have skin issues. Maybe they were trying to give you skin issues. That number here could for 13 condensing down to a four is also family. This is the fourth house. It could be a cancer. It could just be somebody in your family. Can I get another three? 
clarity on the moon in reverse clarity on the moon the ten of fire is in reverse too much work accept help from others life is out of balance stress related health concerns but it's upside down okay this person may have been very stressed or upset about um something going on with their health or your health why are they so worried about your health because the ten of fire being in reverse this is the ten of wands to me has always been a really good card because it's the end of some sort of tough cycle moving on from this not being stressed out by this and the thing is as well is that the more stressed you are um the more it's going to affect your health of course it is you know your cortisol levels are going to go up i watched a video on um this student this medical student talking about if you have been if you've masked your whole life like i've said this in videos before i've only found out quite recently that i am um autistic and on and i have adhd I have sensory issues and stuff like that um so i've masked all of my life and not even realized it they're saying that people who mask whether you are masking because you are neurotyp neurodivergent or neurotypical and you're just masking and kind of trying to conform to what everyone's doing at work within the family and relationships whatever that may be for you it's going to cause there's apparently a link between that and chronic illnesses or you know chronic tiredness and things like that because you're constantly under pressure you're constantly under stress this card being in reverse this person is really upset about something they're upset about how you've been able to remove something or even when you have stresses you're still perceived as successful this is the moon being in reverse this person doesn't know how to regulate their emotions or they're very very upset but they're keeping it to themselves because there's too much work, accept help from others, life is out of balance, stress-related health concerns. In reverse, that means that this person was expecting to not have to work or not have to do something here. So they didn't, ex they didn't accept help from others. They thought that their life would be in balance and they thought that they would be healing some sort of stress-related health concerns. Because that spiritual transformation, I think that's really flawed someone here seeing how you've matured seeing how you've matured has really fueled someone here tell me about the chariot please because this is movement as well the chariot is movement if you're a water do you want to take this one because i feel like there's a resistance in this one i had take it but speak on it because the three of water being in reverse there's resistance i feel like this card was given to me through gritted teeth Seven of Water in reverse. High Priestess is in reverse. Strength is in reverse. This is someone not wanting to admit defeat or someone here not wanting to admit that they were wrong in the first place. It's the energy of I have to keep going and I have to keep up this guise of that person is wrong and I am right. That's my work or that's my idea, not theirs. Because otherwise it's this house of cards is going to fall. And when it falls, everything crumbles to the bottom. This three of water, a celebration, a wedding, graduation or birth announcement. The need to have more fun is upside down. Now, an important achievement, self-discipline and willpower, public recognition. OK, so there's something here within um, some sort of invitation. An invitation that you didn't go to. Or an invitation that got lost um this wedding or graduation or birth announcement whatever that may be either it hasn't happened or you didn't go or you didn't rspv or whatever it is vp i can't remember um there was a need for you to do something here yeah? there was a need for you to um attend something I'm also getting from this chariot, but this may also be this person was expecting to get an invitation. They were expecting to get an it. My skin is so clammy today. I'm so sorry. I got really distracted. They were expecting some sort of um, invitation and they didn't get it. It passed them by because people are, okay, this is why they're so upset. Okay, now with a seven of... The seven of um, swords, the clarity on this one is the seven of water in reverse. And in reverse, it's the lack of a complex decision. They did not do the research. 
they didn't feel like they had to do the research and stop procrastinating is upside down this person did something um haphazardly i can't say it they did something half cocked in other words they whatever it was that they did that was supposed to be like direct competition to you was supposed to get them public recognition and it was i feel like this um public recognition was supposed to be a slap in the face to you in some way this person wanted to show everything and get that whatever this invitation is because i don't it doesn't have to be a wedding or a graduation or a, a birth announcement it could be an event it could be a job fair it could be anything because i'm getting like um you know like you have conventions tattoo conventions and comic cons stuff like that there's some sort of convention here or something along those lines and they wanted exposure but they knew i have a feeling that they knew that you would see this and be like what what a, one minute what's going on here that's my work i know that's my work and i know who's doing this a flipping family member um and it hasn't worked the way they thought it would you have the high priestess in reverse they're not listening to the intuition. Archangel Haniel's come out again. And we have Archangel Haniel twice in reverse. This is somebody who is not kind to nature or somebody who is not very grounded or connected into Mother Gaia. Somebody who um, doesn't know how to connect to the divine or they've been cut off from the divine because of doing some sort of janky practices that were not nice. It says, listen to your intuition, have patience, consider carefully what you want before acting. What was I saying? This person jumped the gun. They did something, they jumped the gun. So this person was not listening to their intuition. They did not have patience. They did not consider carefully what they wanted before acting. And it's put them with a tender fire here in reverse. It's, it's pinned something on them. It's pinned something on them. Any more from here? No, okay. What's it pinned on them? This one? This one? Okay, let's see what's pinned on them. Psychic and satiety. Oh, this person likes to like energy harvest in some way. Because this is like a mixture of things that are happening in the 3D and, and it's almost like repercussions of what's been happening in the astral. You've got psychic here. You have grueling underneath and you have satiety. This person, I, I remember I had to learn what the word satiety means and if I remember correctly, it is that feeling after eating something or just in enjoying food or the taste of food well with psychic next to it this person the hype this fake high priestess this family member this person has been trying to um take your energy in some way and they got greedy they got really greedy and something went wrong here tell me about um can i get one more actually on release Release in the three of earth in reverse, please. Because release in the three of earth in reverse is like someone being released from a job or from a contract or something that would have been like a sponsorship, some sort of brand deal or something along those lines. And they got they got released from that. They were like, no, we don't want you. Strategists and wealth, exactly. This person was trying to strategize how they could take wealth away from you, how they could take something here was actually for you that's been set up for you from you so they've been strategizing how to take this collaboration okay tell me about the end of the phase or situation when it comes to timing to move on and that says tuning in reverse and mother oh so this person was they were messing with someone's energy here they were messing with somebody's energy here to get you out of tune with Mother Earth. They didn't want you grounded. They did not want you grounded in any way, shape or form. All right, can I get some energy on the moon in reverse? First, can I get actually energy, some clarity on the first row? The moon, ten of fire and the high priestess in reverse. Okay. Okay. 
we've got charismatic, splendidly, and sprawling. So there is definitely something this person was, there was a tool maybe that they wanted to use, or there's a tool that they do use. Now, this is like um, a, a sword made out of light. I don't know if they work with certain entities or energies. But you have sprawling here and charismatic. This is growth. This splendidly, though, is giving me some sort of this forced connection to the divine, but not the lighter side of the divine. This person's definitely a shapeshifter of some sort. They're a shapeshifter of some sort. Ah, so they were trying to move the date that this um, event was going to happen to when. You put sprawling down as well. Sensitivities come out. Bright. What do you need to know about this? Honesty is upside down. So what we've got so far is someone from the family, be that sister, brother, uncle, mum, whoever that may be, that was, there's some sort of um, body of work or there's something that you do creatively that you're going to get public recognition from, for, excuse me. Um, it's an important achievement. It's something that I, I heard it's once in a lifetime, this expo or this, um, what's the word? convention whatever it is that you are being invited to go to i feel this person was trying to change when it happened they wanted to delay something or they wanted something to happen to you when it comes to we had brightness come out and we also had um sensitivity there's something about um photosensitivity for someone here i don't know if, if you have light sensitivities issues with your eyes um study and bright has come out so there's some, there's definitely an, uh, an opportunity to learn with whatever this, this public recognition is. Science has come out and cycle in reverse. This person is very um, logical. They may be very science based. No, I don't want that one actually. I want to have a look at you. Oh, you want me to go over there okay can i get some information on this person okay when is tell me more about this person specifically when it comes to the moon in reverse tell me about this person Voodoo in blue has come out. So this person's definitely been trying to do something or they're trying to master something here when it comes to, this is like being a false false light or pretending to be like um, elevated in some way or having higher vibrations. Someone who may push toxic positivity in some way also. Um, the other card that came out is the gift of sacred sight. Yeah, this person is a fake spiritualist. They don't actually have foresight. They don't have uh, clairvoyance. Um, I do feel like something was cut off for them because of what they were doing. It's time to be brave is upside down. Okay, so they may have been pushing. No, 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 no. I was about to say they may have been pushing something scary, but no. This person got very greedy in eating or trying to take some, consuming someone's energy. But whatever it is or whoever it is that's protecting you, they didn't expect that. They didn't expect that in the slightest. Look, I am not a victim. And heed wide counsel and listen. So there's people on your team or energies on your team that weren't messing about. And they've, they've blinded this um, family member, this person that was pretending to be you to get into this event or to get this invitation of some sort. Glamour, intrigue and drama. There you go. Intoxication, distorted view and overindulgence. I've shown you who to trust. So this, that's what they were trying to do. They were trying to blind someone's third eye here. They were trying to get you to trust them or trust someone here that wasn't for your highest and greatest good. What I would like to know more of though, 
is to do with um, this event. What is this for you? Do you know what actually, when is it for you? And we'll be using this, it's called Your Cosmic Year. And um, I bought this when I was out actually. It is by Andrea Davalos. There you go, I'll show that to you just in case you're interested. Oh, I've got about four minutes before I cut off, so let's do this quick, quick, quick. Let's have a look, see. What do we need to know about this, please, and thank you. What do we need to know about this? When? Who? Okay, three. Symbol is three in Jupiter. The focus is creativity, imagination, and passion. I see and celebrate the magic in every day. The exercise for you is to get playful, to skip, dance, laugh and love. The number three symbolises creativity and brings open-mindedness open into your life. It is closely linked to the planet of travel and adventure, amazing, which is Jupiter. The number calls on you to celebrate your uniqueness and create, pot create potential. Reconnect with your inner child and embrace the part of you that is spontaneous and imaginative. A part that over the years may have been repressed. It's time to nurture your inner child. Be sure to let it out to play today by doing something fun. Um, I do think that the number three can mean three days, three weeks or three months that this is coming in. But you are being told to really focus on your creativity, your imagination and your passion because this is what's going to get you public recognition. Anything else you need to know about this, please and thank you. Anything at all? Oops. Thursday. Look at that, Jupiter comes out again. It says here, planet is Jupiter. Lucky colours are blue, gold and purple. Focus on adventure. Exercise, do a full body stretch. Focus on physical and mental expansion today. Stand tall and make yourself feel bigger physically. Your mind is led by your body and will take note. Jupiter re represents new adventures, ideas and possibilities. It's let it remind you of your own limitless poten potential. Cultivate your curiosity by experimenting and seeking out new experiences. Try and notice how coincidence and synchronicity play their parts in your life. So we've had Jupiter come out twice. This is about physically doing things um, to help you tap into your inner child. Um, Thursday is definitely the day of Jupiter, which is why I do um, ancestral burns on a Thursday. Um, but get playful. Whatever this is that's coming in, is going to come in as you tap into your inner child. And I honestly feel like between now and December is very, very important in this event coming in for you. So this is a future event. This person being in their emotions may actually be presently now because they've been trying to... Um, force some sort of fit for themselves that doesn't actually fit because it's this isn't their blessing it isn't for them it isn't for them now you've got july in reverse but i don't i'm not reading the reverses at the moment oh my gosh the god on here is jupiter focus excitement and energy action create a vision board to manifest your goals birthstone is ruby I'll show you the card, it's really cool actually. There's some sort of massive, amazing tower coming in as well, right? Connect with the part of you that is spontaneous, passionate, curious, and expects every day to be exciting. Associated with the Roman god Jupiter, who ruled the sky and carried a thunderbolt, July is a time to embrace your strength and grow your own wings. Shine bright and follow your dreams because happiness and success are your destiny. Oh, I'm about to get cut off. So let me read the last bit. The blood red ruby with its connections of vitality and energy will help you feel the rising tide of power within you. Jupiter is going to be very, very important and it starts now. So even though this person's really upset that they're going to miss out, it doesn't matter. I'm going to go because it's about to cut off. I love you guys. Please um, hit the notification bell if you like it. Subscribe. Bye.